Hey guys, how are you? Happy Sunday. Um, I wanted to come really quick and talk about the videos I just saw. I didn't get to see Chrissy's live live. I just watched it in replay and I felt really bad for Chrissy and what's going on. Um, apparently yesterday she, I guess she put up a video yesterday. I know she had that outfit on. She was talking about being in the Airbnb. She had a cute little outfit on, some, you know, cute makeup and all that. And um, apparently she was talking about um, her lease, um, maybe not necessarily being broken, but not necessarily fully executed. I'm not sure what the, what actually transpired, but basically she says that um, her, so there's two videos. The most recent, she's in her car. She just went to go pick up some supplies and she looked very frustrated. And I, I, you know, I believe everything she was saying. I don't understand, you know, I don't think that if on everything that she has to do, she has time to create a whole nother scenario um, about um, this whole housing situation because this is obviously not ideal. Um, so let me rewind just a little bit. So if you have not seen the videos, there was a video that came out um, yesterday. She was kind of talking about her situation and she had gone live yesterday. Um, maybe after that, she recorded a, a video stating that she um, hadn't been able to get in touch with the new landlord and that she reached out to him because she realized like, oh, maybe we were supposed to meet and I think she was gonna postpone it. I'm not really sure. I listened to it twice and I got kind of fuzzy details on that. Um, so maybe I need to listen to it again. But if you understand that part, hit me up down in the comments. But something about that she needed to go pick up the keys. She hadn't heard from the landlord. They hadn't really been in contact other than the meeting that they had when she signed the lease. He took a picture of it, sent it to her. And apparently he sent her the unexecuted contract with only his signature and not her signature. Um, so I guess she didn't really think anything of it. She assumed that they were good to go. They were supposed to pick up exchange keys and uh, money transfer on Monday. She called to make sure that they were still good to go. And he says, um, didn't you check your email? And she said, no. And he said, check your email. He subs he also sends her an e a note stating, I don't know what it stated, but it basically that I'm not going to, I'm not moving forward with the contract. And maybe somebody called him. So she titled the video subscriber called, but she doesn't really know who called. I'm almost thinking to myself, you know, sometimes even though Las Vegas, I'm sure is a very big city, but people even tell you in New York, New York is not as big as what you think it is. And people do know people that know people and people run into others. Um, I'm just wondering if he potentially knew or was acquainted with her last landlord possibly, or even um, he called the last landlord for reference. I'm not really sure. But if he checked her records with the court, it's possible if he looked up her name to see if she had any recent evictions, it's possible he did his own due diligence. I'm not really sure. Um, I don't. I didn't really hear her state that he told her that someone called him. Now, maybe I missed that part, but I need to go back and watch it again. But I'm thinking that she is saying that a subscriber called there are people out here who have nothing better to do than want to ruin her life. And, you know, I don't, I'm not discounting that because I know that there are trolls out here that do have, I don't want to say nothing better. Everybody has something better to do, but are heavily vested in mischief. Okay. I'm just gonna put it like that. And, um, I certainly am not one of them. I don't, try to sabotage people's lives. 
I am watching videos and I am recapping those videos for the people that watch me. Um, it is very unfortunate if that is what happened. I mean, that's just, that's awful. And you could see the um, concern in her face because she says it's costing her $1,000 a week. So that's $4,000 a month. Um, that's very expensive. That's double what she's paying. Um, and I do feel bad for her because I don't care how much money you're making, 4,000 a month is a, is, a, is a good amount of money. And um, she needs to find a place as soon as possible. I mean, that's, that's a lot. And I feel really bad for her. Um, I am not sure what the legalities are in terms of someone canceling a lease prior to the um, fully the full execution of the lease which is taking um, owner taking um, uh, uh, occupancy of the property and them accepting the funds um, they I'm assuming they accepted a, a deposit. Uh, only thing that I can think of is maybe there is some type of an out clause or just an overriding kind of, you know, you have 24 hours from owner, you know, taking ownership of the property or execution of the contract to be able to back out. I don't really know. She says that she didn't see anything. She's not sure if what happened was legal, that kind of stuff. And, you know, at the end of the day, you know, what it sounds like to me is, you know, definitely you're racking up a big list of people who you need to have legal action with. And I hate that for you. I really do. I think it's awful. And to be a mom with uh, children out on basically the streets, if you will, I mean, you're in an Airbnb. Um, but, you know, maybe the Airbnb folks are happy to have you because, Maybe that Airbnb would be empty if you were not there. So maybe that is gonna work out, but that's an easy way to start to deplete funds very, very, very quickly. So, I mean, the main thing that you see is that Chrissy is very worried and she is concerned about finding a new place and how the um, news got to this person to not want to rent to her. So it was kind of like, wow, this has gone from bad to worse really, really, really fast. And I, I, me personally, I'm not gonna say, oh, it was a reactor. I think she said that there was somebody online who did a video stating that they reached out to her previous landlord. I'm just thinking if this person is doing their necessary background checks, um, that it's quite possible they could have seen that she was just recently evicted. Now, recently being evicted, does that preclude you from no longer getting housing? I don't really know, um, but I would imagine that that could be something that someone can take into account in the decision to rent their property. Also, as I'd stated before, it's possible that there may be some acquaintance there between one landlord to another. That's a possibility. And also, as she stated, someone called this person. How though on God's green earth did somebody find out out of all of the properties for rent in Las Vegas, the property that she was gonna rent? I just kind of find that hard to believe, but um, I'm certainly not saying she's lying. If it happened, it happened. I'm just trying to figure out who these people are. And if they are such great detectives, then they need to be going to work for um, some police department. Um, they need to be going to find missing children. They need to be going and finding missing adults because these people obviously have some type of investigating skills like no other because I'm trying to figure out how these people could even have figured out where she was going because in the videos that I watched, I heard her say nothing about a specific area of town, a specific place anything other than potentially renting a house and if there unless there was only one house for rent in las vegas i'm just not sure how these people could have found it but okay the fact still remains is that she is still displaced and it's it's a really bad situation so um you know i'm not on here to bash chrissy i'm not here to talk about chrissy in a negative way um, 
you know, this is really, really bad. And, you know, I, I'm watching, you know, I wish her the best and I hope that she finds a place as soon as possible. As I saw in the comments, cause I typically don't read her comments, but I also know her comments aren't always open, but the comments are open now. Um, Chrissy, if you happen to watch my video and I know you don't need my advice and I'm sure you already know this cause you stated it in your video. Don't, you know, and this is Bible too. Don't tell your right hand what your left hand is doing. Don't tell everyone everything that you have going on because you know what? If, as you stated, there are people who have a ax to grind with you and want to make your life difficult, um, don't drop breadcrumbs for them to figure out what you're doing because I hate to hear this is happening to you and I hope that you're able to secure something very quickly. Um, I'm doing my part by supporting watching your videos. And, you know, guys, if you are not subscribed to this channel, please go ahead and do so. Make sure that you are like, commenting, and subscribing. And if you have any questions or anything to share on this matter, go ahead and do so down in the comment section. I'd be uh, interested to hear it because I'm not really sure if I missed it. It was kind of like the story started and it like dropped and then it went somewhere else. And then it just everything equaled something. And I'm not really sure what all of that was other than the fact that someone allegedly found out where she was going. They gave a poor reference, I'm assuming. And the gentleman decided he didn't want to rent to her anymore. So she's still looking. So anyway, guys, I will see you in the next video. Thanks. Bye.